What's up, Ups? <coughs> you hear something? What's that? What's that? You smell something. Greetings and salutations guys and girls, it's Ranger and me, the off-grid warrior, doing a few trips up the mountain. I managed, uh, well let's just say, super blessed, I got my hands on some free firewood, so it's like money in the bank guys. So we got a few hauls, a few loads to do, but I wanted to share that view with you guys, is that not beautiful? No, not me, the, the colors guys, look at those colors. Take it in. Yeah, beautiful time of the year. We've had all types of critters up on the mountain. Wolves, yes. Uh, and coyotes, plenty of coyotes. So a uh, ranger's nose is uh, in overtime right now, but look at those colors. Wow. Okay, I think we're up for the day. Chores done. Hungry. Yeah, take it easy.
Okay. Excuse me, I, I don't understand you. What are you saying? You telling me you can't get through here? Oh. Well, greetings and salutations, guys and girls. It's me, the off-grid warrior and ranger, somewhere over there. Well, uh, today I'm doing my favorite snack. We're going to be starting the cure or smoke on one of my favorite uh, little meat treats. I've got some top round over here. We'll be cutting in strips and then I'll be marinating it in these here items we've got Worcestershire sauce apple cider malt vinegar and sriracha now I don't typically use both of these vinegars but I have a very little of both of them left so I'm just going to mix them up so that's the wet brine and uh, yeah the meat strips will be soaked for a couple hours and then we'll get them in the smoker so that's what I do there's a few other steps we're also going to do a dry rub on on uh, on that uh, after the the soak so yeah let's do it well uh here you can see the slices guys apologies about the shadow behind because rangers very excited so i uh, know the slices are roughly you know half inch to three quarter inch thick and typically when you cut, you cut your initial uh, chunk of meat with the grain. That'll just make it easier to eat after uh, it's dried. So, 
Here we go, that's what the uh, slices look like. And we'll get the uh, marinade ready next. Well guys, we're kind of ready for the next phase over here. What I've got here is some coriander. I've roasted it uh, in this pan here, already done that. And it's just a light roast, you know. Get a little bit of a smoke, kick it around, let it smoke a bit more and pull it off. I'm gonna be grinding up the coriander in this year coffee bean grinder. We really want to end up with a coarse to coarse to medium uh, grind on the coriander. And then I've got salt and pepper here. The salt and pepper mix and then uh, Himalayan sea salt. And I realize guys, I kind of screwed up on this one. What you're supposed to do before marinating the meat is actually get uh, some good coarse salt on it. Get uh, work that salt into the meat and let, let it sit for um, you know a, an hour or two uh, so that salt can draw as much moisture out of the meat and then go on to the marinade. But I skipped that. <laughs> Man, call it a brain fart. I don't know. So, anyways, guys, do that before salt your meat, let it sit, and and then marinate it after salting. You can kick off some of the salt uh, after salting. You know, brush it off with your hand. Uh, you know, nothing major, and then do the marinade. So. Okay guys, so um, yeah, there we go. We've got the meat padded down with our dry rub. And uh, we've got our hooks over here. And uh, this is the little smoker box right now. I have some apple wood in the bucket there in some water. We're gonna just soak it a bit. And uh, later on, prob probably in about an hour, once uh, it's heated in here and the fire's going good, um, I'll get the apple wood on top of the grill. But for now, I'm going to get some hooks in the meat and uh, hang it up in the smoker. Yum. Well, greetings and salutations, guys and girls. Working on a little project today. I'm feeling a little out of shape. I've been a little under the weather the last couple of days. So I'm getting out and doing something I've been wanting to do for some time. So I'll probably have it done tomorrow, but today's a good day to start. Hope you guys are doing well. Cheers.
Mit, mit, mit. I think it'll work. Ah, oh, yes, the cooking center. <laughs> cooking center and, uh, you know, hot water showers begin there. Well, not out there, but, you know, the water begins there and then it goes inside. <laughs> Well guys, it's a, it's a sad day indeed. We're at that point where we need to get rid of water before it freezes. So, that's what I'm doing here. Moving some of the water from that barrel into this barrel so I can move it and drain it. Um, because once these barrels freeze, guys, not good. What they tend to do is expand as they become ice and then they'll split the barrels you know the seams they will literally pop uh, so we get all the water out before everything freezes which brings on a whole new challenge up here when it comes to things like showering so we'll keep a little bit of water in uh, the main tank over there we'll, we're gonna drain that like 75 percent and keep the hose drained just in case any day now, 
could wake up with a major freeze and then there ain't no draining water so hopefully you guys are having a good one take it easy cheers